All right, guys, I'm going to go over some essential stuff in Illustrator to uh, get set up properly before we start. Um, it doesn't really matter what size your canvas is, but usually I like like a more or less square canvas. And in Illustrator, canvases are actually called artboards. And a lot of the hotkeys work the same way, Control plus, Control minus. And one of the first things you're going to do when you open Illustrator the first time is it now doesn't come uh, ready to roll the way I like it. So we're going to immediately uh, correct this. We're going to get the control bar. So just like in Photoshop, every time you do something, it's nice. I like having the control bar at the top. One thing you should be aware of, the information is often on the side, but let's go get that control bar. So you go down here, click on control. So boom. So there you go. You got your fill and you got your stroke there. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of this. As you can see, I'll use the selection tool. And if ever, or selection tool, if I ever want this tool, the hotkey is A. Switch back and forth. Um, one of the things I also want you to do is this is kind of the new panel they've added this year. I don't really like that one. So if ever your workspace looks weird or different, one of the things you may want to do is I like Essentials Classic and I recommend you have that because a lot more tools are available that they are available up here. But you know, when you're a beginner, sometimes it's just a little bit easier to, to go in there. Okay. Quickly go over some of the things we learned last time we used this, or maybe it's your first time. So rounded rectangle, when we used to build those ninjas, if you remember. So here's your stroke and your fill. So obviously if I want to uh, have a red character and I like the stroke, maybe I want it to be a lot thicker um, and maybe, uh, you know, have this look to it, changing the way the stroke looks. For now, I'm going to keep most stuff on uniform just so you know. And you could even make this, uh, you know, different kind of brush looks. Uh, I'm not really going to go too much in that. But if you're interested in doing that, at least you know what's a thing you can do. So um, there you go. So then I, I had created, if you recall, we created uh, with the shift key, a perfect circle. And then, uh, you know, we had learned how to make our ninja character. We want that same stroke. But, you know, it's good enough for now. And, you know, then we had used the ellipse tool to make just a refresher to refresh kind of your memory. And uh, command C, command V works. So, you know, I, don't, I didn't have to create uh, new arms. Why is that good to know? Because maybe what you're creating, you know, and, you know, you got those pink lines, which if you recall, those are your guidelines. And it's basically to tell you that stuff is evenly aligned. Okay. And uh, it's not perfect, but it's good enough because we're I'm going fairly quickly. And, uh, you know, maybe I want to create another circle for the face. And I'm going to show you the uh, a very commonly used tool in Photoshop or in Illustrator, um, Pathfinder tool. I'm going to go with that for the color of the skin. And then I'm going to go over here and just draw that over just to show you. And then you'll see the, the guidelines. You see the pink lines just snap. If ever they don't, you can just move it around here. And I want to just show you. Okay, and how you use uh, this tool, I forget what the hotkey is, oh, V, okay, so I'll just, V and A are the two keys, and if you don't see the Pathfinder tool, very important tool in Photoshop, so go and get it over here, I'll just show you a couple of these really quickly, and you know, you can always dock this, uh, this removes front, so remember we had done that for the ninja, I'm going to control Z, this adds this to the shape, making this into one shape, now I'm going to show, and this, uh, go control Z, this, goes and does the uh, you know the opposite cuts uh, off the uh, that part if you like that's inter interacting and then we can go we'll control Z here control Z and we'll go here cuts out the middle so you know maybe that's useful to you um, you know there's a lot of kind of uh, things that you can play around there uh, with uh, I usually use these a lot all right and I'm going to show you another one that's very common and useful to use called the shape builder tool so if you have two shapes or let's pretend i'm going to even add something else onto here now i want this and i'm trying to build a shape for some reason and yes it looks kind of odd doesn't matter so now i'm going to click the v tool and i select all of these and now i'm going to go and use the live uh, so what this will do is it'll come get rid of these vectors boom it's gone boom it adds it all into one that's very handy and uh, you know, let's pretend this was the shape I was looking for. There it is. Now it's one. You can see all the anchor points are right here. Uh, and, you know, you can get rid of anchor points. And that's another one that's very useful to use. If I click there, you know, and I was saying this yesterday. Anchor points are like uh, 
polygons. You don't want too many of them. So uh, I'm going to use the direct selection tool. Hotkey is A. And I'm going to move that down. So when you select the anchor points, you click and you can just move them around. You can only do it where there's one of these here that you can add anchor points. I'll let you figure that out. It's pretty simple, actually. I wanted to just show you. I'm going to click here and I just added a vector point. Okay. Then I'm going to go and press A. And there's quite a few that were added. Oh no, it was just one. And you got the Bezier handles that you've learned to play around with. And I, let's see, what is the hotkey for that one? It's plus. Okay, that's good to know. So uh, plus. And then I'm going to go and hit the, the A key. And I'm just going to move this up. So I'm kind of moving my, my anchor points around. Very useful. And I didn't finish the ninja. It doesn't matter because we're not doing a video game design for this. But you could. it's all the same skills. Extremely useful. Um, I think that'll be it for now. And uh, there'll be a lot of tutorials to come up. If you have any questions, please let me know.